Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tis I, the Javerin Magpie. And I thought it's time for something new. After all, I've been doing this for about a bloody year now, and uh, I've only got the four series. I'm sorry, I've stopped there for a second. I swore to God that the tree over there was shaking and gyrating in a rather erotic fashion. One there, just left of the scarf. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I thought we could indulge in a little winter wonderland holiday. Yes, that's right, it's the long dark. Um, this is going to be a somewhat short series, probably about ten episodes or so, perhaps. Maybe more, seeing how we get on with things. Don't want to get bogged down in yet another long runner. So, start off, sandbox. Through difficulties, pilgrim with a fox. Voyageur with an owl and stalker with a wolf. Well, oh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Let's just try Voyageur or Voyager, as it's um, more commonly known. Now, I'm going to be boring. I'm going to start on Mystery Lake. I could be a sadist and change difficulty to stalker and put myself in a random location, but I'm most familiar with Mystery Lake. Oh, there's been a load of new places added since I last played this. Desolation Point and Timberwolf Mountain. For advanced players, staying away for that. Mystery Lake, I am a gentleman. And this sandbox shall be called... YouTube. Glory. Here. Away we go! Mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Um. Well, I can't fly a plane, nor do I know much about Canada. Um. I know Quebec is called the Belle Provence. Oh, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. Seneca. Thank you for. There's wise words, and it's pitch black. Oh, this is going to be a charm to edit. Um, found a stick. Okay, first things first, what do we have? This is our medical screen. Warmth rapidly going down. I have no penis, I appear to be an action man, or a G.I. Joe, whatever you call them. Got myself a hat, some half a litre of water... Pure tabs, long johns, an MRE. That's good. Fuck. Okay. What would Bear Grylls do? He would find shelter. Green birch sapling. Hatchet is required to uh, do this. Okay, hold shift to run. Oh, hello, little bunny rabbit. Right, what else do I know about Canada? Um. Something about Tim Horton. I do believe he makes coffee and possibly was the previous Prime Minister before Trudeau. Old Trudeau, not young sexy Trudeau, who doesn't like bombing Syria. Let me see what do we have. We have... That's a stag. Wonderful, bringing back nightmarish uh, memories of Hannibal. Excuse me, I adjust my mic. Please don't come charging at me. Rosehip. That's good if you're sick. I'm sure I can turn in some form of tea. Single 303 rifle round. Pry bar. Simple arrow. Rifle cleaning kit. Better bag. Antiseptic and a bandage. Is there anything else of use? Do I. I am fucking freezing to death. Uh. Christ, I have nothing to light my way. Okay. 
Sod to it. We're getting out of here. Uh, up, down, left, right. There. That looks like a cave of some description. It's not just any cave, it's Alan's cave. Um, Alan Cave, a, another illustrious Canadian Prime Minister. Wait, I'm so cold and warming up again. That's not good. Yes, if you look in bottom left, that slowly ticking number, now at 99, was 100. I do believe is how close I am to freezing my bollocks off. Okay, Swiggity Swag. The Nightmare Stag. Alright, memory serves me well, and it rarely does. There should be... some kind of a uh, lodge or cabin located down the train lines. Though I do routinely play this game on stalker difficulty. Hence the reason I never get very far. Must be why I've not run into many uh, Wolfies so far. Actually checking. Do I have anything that might be of use against wolves? Not even a fucking road flare. Okay. Follow the train lines. There's civilization down these tracks. Or at least there bloody well had better be civilization down these tracks, or I am a dead man. Oh, hello. Train loading area. Dead stag. Another dead so and so. A flare. Excellent. So, if and the crows fly away. So, if any uh, wolfy dolphins come along, I can, you know, scare them away with a flare. Kind of like a shite Gandalf against the Balrog. I should really get business cards about printed on. Shite Gandalf. Proprietor of Jabbering Magpie Studios. Though Jabbering Magpie Studios is just me, my laptop. A quite actually... You know, for the amount I paid for it, £20 for a Logitech microphone, it, this isn't not too bad. And, uh... Yeah, just me, sat all alone in my wanking chariot, or as most people call it, the sofa. Okay, we're down to 86% health, going well. There's a lot of dead animals on these tracks. Antibiotics. A derailed train car. Anything in here? A crow feather. Sweet fuck all. 
a downy ski jacket. And no. Moving swiftly on. This is weird. Have they, like, toned down the amount of wolves? I know it's on Voyager difficulty, but... Seriously, the... You know, square... Wolf to uh, square kilometre population previously was around 9,000. It's apart from the fact I'm freezing my bollocks... SHELTER! Get in, get in, get in! Come on, Tim Horton! Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's also dark in here. Is there any way I can edit the gamma in this game? Matches. Okay, what's that? Radio? We've got can opener. It opens cans. Somebody's keeping soda in a filing cabinet. Whetstone. Ah, newsprint, reclaimed wood. More newsprint. Painkillers. Candy bar. A hook. That's what I want. Darker than Sauron's anus in here. Lantern fuel. Excellent. Now I've got myself a lovely stack of shells. Radio. Do you function? Hello. SOS. SOS, this is Tim Horton. I am trapped in the Canadian wilderness. Need poutine. I think I'm being rather mean about Canada, and it's actually it's supposed to be a rather lovely country. Sorry, Canada. You are a lovely nation. Like the unfortunate child of France and England. Why couldn't I have been stuck somewhere like Montreal? At least I have bars in Montreal. Or Vancouver. What have we here? I used to li live with a girl from a place called Hope. Somewhere near Vancouver. Oh my god, it's a cupboard full of soda. Excellent. Right, so... You, you're going to stay there. Time to try starting a fire, I think. Uh, da -da -da -da. Actions for the newsprint roll. Harvest. As you know what, I don't want to sleep quite yet, as that would mean I'd end up waking up in the middle of the night. Okay, so we've got Tinder plugs. Um, got a spare sleep, well, bedroll there. So, fuel. Tinder plug, accelerant, chance of success 50 50. Put an 
90% would be accelerant. Okay, fuck it. My fire raising skill has increased. I am loath to burn literature. But it is also probably a good idea to heat up this soup. Cook up said soup. Mmm, deliciously heated soup. I am peckish and my mouth is dry and I'm tired. Okay. Delicious. Okay, let's melt a litre's worth of snow. It does not take that long to me melt a litre of snow. Okay, how much of it can we render safe in 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15 minutes, 14, we're good. Well, at least we're warming up now. This thing has no kerosene in it. Do I have anything I can uh, fill my lamp up with? No. Bollocks. Right, so that wasn't such a terrible haul. I've got food, I've got water, I found somewhere nice. I do believe this place ends up acting as base camp for most players. Workbench, what can I do? Old mi man's beard, wound dressing, torch, it's kerosene, snare, hook, line, fishing tackle. I can make a fishing tackle. There we go. Ooh, what a big tackle. Deer skin, wolf skin, survival bow. Cured maple sapling and cured gut. Hmm. I don't like the idea of curing guts. Okay, so... Let's unload some of this stuff. Food storage. In fact, pork and beans, you can go in there. My military MRE, I'll keep with. Energy bar, I'll keep with. Soda, you can go in. More soda, more soda, more soda. Half a litre of water will be safe in there. A lot of sewing kits. An awful lot of sewing kits. Ah, lantern fuel. Candy bar, you can go in there. Okay, up above it, this will be... More miscellaneous crap, so crow feathers. Maybe I can get some fishing done so I won't chuck that out just yet. In fact, that is a sewing kit. Um, arrow, you can go in there. Whetstone, too. I'll 
keep one sewing kit with me. Sorry, I'm very anal about my inventories. Hmm. So I have a can opener, a candy bar, an energy bar, and an MRE in case things get bad. Rifle clean kit can go in there. Some of this medicine I don't need at the moment. Nor do I especially need the bedroll, because most places have a place to sleep somewhere. Okay, so... This lot of antiseptic... I'll keep... In fact, it's light enough that I can keep six antibiotics with me. All that fucking rose hip can go in there. Uh... Huh... Okay. That seems fine to me. Very sensible. I will rest my character for two hours. Eight hours of daylight left. Oh fuck. If you can hear, it's blowing a gale outside, so... Still blowing a gale. Shall we risk it? Have a quick vape. Mm. Okay, it's windy as all fuck. But it's not like a snowstorm, so. Hello, cattails. Alright, frozen lake. New location discovered. It has raided for all it's worth. memory serves me well, there's actually a pathway around the back of the uh, cabin, which leads to the other side of this lake, so I don't need to risk falling in. I need to be careful about sprinting, though I keep on using up most of my energy. Hello, crow feather. Oh, that's the foot of the frozen corpse. Delightful. Oh, Canada! It's okay, I don't remember that many national anthems. Stick, we need you. 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 Oh, you're far too big. You're not a stick, you're a branch. This is a sticks only club. Lake Trail. How are we doing? Pretty cold, pretty damn hungry, pretty tired, and somewhat thirsty. Stick. Stick. Sticky long stocking. Stick, stick. No, branch. Stay away. Alright, so let's.
let's try down here. Fortunately, this place is giving us a little bit of wind resistance. I don't know why I'm pointing physically, but at the bottom left of the screen you can see there is a little shield and a wind icon. How much of these sticks weighing us down? We have a kilo and a half worth of wood, so... More sticks for the stick god. Mystery Lake, Western Access. A couple of cabins over there. I don't feel great walking about on oh, ice. Kind of crunchy. Lake cabins! I have discovered cabins. Now to get in. Where well, hopefully it's a tad bit warmer. Hmm. Well, this is quite nice. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe it's quite a good place to leave it here. We've survived for about 8 hours and 54 minutes, it says. So, um, yeah, let's raid these lakeside camps for all the worth. Okay, this is Jabbering Magpie signing off. Do remember to leave a comment, a like, a subscri subscribe, even a dislike, and some hideous abuse for my uh, disregard to poor old Canada. Very sorry about that one, Canada. Love you, really. Right, folks. Tatty bye!